Hey guys, it's Cheats, and this video I'm showing you guys how I'm gonna use the stuff that I bought in my Discam haul. So if you remember the previous video, I showed you guys a vlog of going to buy the cheapest products in Discam, and this video we are going to put them to the test. Hopefully we don't break out. I'm scared, but um, it's a once off. I hope my skin, my skin is strong guys. My skin can just, it can handle things. We're gonna use these um, products and just see what we think about the cheapest skincare products in Discam. If it's your first time here, my name is Cheeds. Please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. So remember, I bought a bunch of stuff from Discam. It was all super affordable, literally the cheapest stuff I could find. So first up, we had the cleanser. I ended up with a bar cleanser, so bar cleanser, I mean, when last, hey, when last? I mean, I might as well be using Lux on my face. The reason, I mentioned this in the previous video, the reason I don't like like bar soaps, like for my skin, it's mostly because you let them like sit on there, like outside, just exposed, you know, to the elements and just bacteria things flying around. Compared to like a bottle where you just get what you need, this is just, it's, it's out here. So let's try, this is Gentle Magic. The whole range from Gentle Magic was like super, super, super affordable. It was $9.95. So, I mean, for skincare, that is unprecedented. Ooh, ciao. This has got fragrance. Okay, this is gonna actually break me out. Ooh. Also, the color is making me shook. It kind of looks like like the soap you used to like wash clothes. You know that green soap? Um, it smells a lot like camphor. You guys remember camphor? This is not. Okay, I mean, we'll try it. The things we do for a video. I guess I'm just gonna have to do this like, you know this ghetto move, this one. I think what I'm confused about is like, when last did I use a bar of soap, you know? Cause I just feel like, even for the body, it's just shower gel nowadays. This does not smell good, eh? Go into my eyes, go into my arms. Okay, I'm gonna cut this short. Oh guys, there's even like a grey like situation on my face right now. Yeah, so that's a no. I'm literally gonna throw this away because this is actually this is actually not a thing. I wouldn't even use this on my body, guys. My face is crinkly. It's like tissue paper. It's so dry. It literally sucked every single oil from my face. This experiment, mm. Mm -mm. Y'all better like this video because I ain't going down like this for nothing. Uh, next up is a scrub. This is also gonna be a moment. This is why Branco QT Cura. Never heard of it before. It is the scrub. It exfoliates and moisturizes. I'm sure it does. It's a South African brand because my skin is actually so dry. Whoa. And that was on me for like a few seconds. I'm triggered. Okay, so let's put on... I feel like it even gave me a headache. So this is a physical exfoliator. Remember I did a previous video on exfoliants, physical versus chemical, so this is obviously a physical one because it has got those granules in them, which I don't normally like, but we'll try and be gentle. I won't press too hard, so I really don't wanna tear up all the hard work I've done on my skin. Yeah, it feels a bit um, like aggressive. I can feel those particles. What are they even? Because they're very, they're very hard. They're strong. I don't know if you guys know what video regret is. I'm in it now. We've done it. We bought the products. Okay, so I'm just gonna rinse that off quickly. I just feel like after like a while of good skincare, I've just sent myself back, you know, to primary school. I've just sent myself back to using Oxy and just vicious things. Next up, we've got the Himalaya mask, Himalaya herbals. This product's actually quite popular in South Africa. I'm not sure why, I've never used it. But this is the refreshing fruit mask. So I was like, let me try a mask just to, you know, switch it up. This is for normal to dry skin. And it deep cleanses, firms, and rejuvenates. So what I'm going to do is just put this on, like, maybe my nose and my chin. Just where I do have, like, some oil left. Because if I put it around here, I'm not going to survive it. It's going to tear me up. I'm going to be tore up from the floor up and I'm not doing that. So let's just put it where there's some traces of oil left to just I'm sure there are a few droplets around here. It actually feels nice. So I think the fragrance in these products also just adding to the dryness of my skin. My skin is literally tingling from like the soap and the exfoliator which is not, it means my skin is like literally broken right now. She broke. Allowed to dry for 10 to 15 minutes. I don't know why I got that inspiration. I'll be back. It is dried up. It is crusting up. It is just 
let's rinse let's uh, i'm done at this rate i just want to like put on a bunch of vaseline on my face just so you know get it soft okay this is actually gonna bring me back we're coming back i hope it brings me back so next up is the serum i was really excited to try this because i actually have been wanting to buy it um regardless of this video that i'm doing i've just been wanting to try this and this was the cheapest serum i could get this is the hydro boost capsule in serum so it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin e capsules intensely rehydrates we need a rehydration helps smooth away dry lines because i feel like that's what we've got instantly illuminates tight skin thank you jesus the booster serum is infused okay cool man okay that's great i'm not gonna read all that because i got things to do anyway i don't know so let's say let's take how many doesn't say so i'm just i'm gonna go in because i need it so one two okay two pumps are fine maybe just a little a half a pump okay and oh my gosh You know, sometimes in life you think there's no way out and then something just happens and your life changes. It brought me back. It, brought, it just, it, and the way it absorbed quickly, I just feel like my skin was just, my skin was sucking it. Ooh. Thank you. I'm somehow feeling like a bit more normal. Still can feel the dryness from like the steps before, but this actually just, it just oh, thank you but this is gonna dry me out again man come on this is <laughs> the moisturizer the cheapest moisturizer i could find garnier skin active garnier we know garnier but this is an even and matte day cream that matte is scaring me but it's got glycerine which is hydrating so i mean let's try it at this point i mean I might just have to put that serum on top of the moisturizer as well. So this is for normal to dry skin, so I hope it is hydrating. I feel like I need that shine though, because... Why do I look grey? Oh no. Oh, so this one, remember when I tested in the previous video, it was like, pilling? This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. Why is it grey? It doesn't even have SPF in it. Why is it grey? Why are you grey? Is it the lemon essence? But that's meant to make you radiant. But this is literally doing the opposite of what it says it does. I'm sure it's the mattifying ingredients that are just making me grey. So what I'm gonna do is just top up with some more serum. Because... Why are you grey? Oh, wow. 50 shades of grey. There's no coming back from this. On camera, I don't think as grey as I do like in the mirror. But you see closely, you can see that there's things going on. This is not it. I can't even rub it in. Cause I moisturize it. Kanye. Oh. Kanye. I thought you were better than this. Oh my gosh. And last but not least, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You need to put on your sunscreen. I don't know how, like, which other way to say it. Like, I've tried to say it in like a joking way. I've tried to say it like seriously. I've done a video on sunscreen. Um, I've come for people. Like, I've. I've bought lots of sunscreen to show people, so I don't know how else to tell people that you need to wear sunscreen. I mean, I think I've done my bit. I've contributed to the world. I've done my bit. I've tried. I was excited to use this just because it seemed like it blended in nicely. This, it's also mattifying. Why is everything mattifying? Who wants to be matte anymore? This is by Saltone. It's a sunscreen SPF 30 UVA and UVB protect protection. It says it's mattifying. Wow. Fun. It's a chemical sunscreen, of course. It should blend in easily, and it did when I tested it. Guys, this sunscreen is actually... I am going to be using this sunscreen for a few days. Because... I like it. I've got this grey situation here, but that's... I don't think that's on the sunscreen, that's from... Kanye. I've got a lot going on right now on my... 
on my face. You see, I got like these dry. Oh my gosh! It's this. It's the moisturizer because it did it to me when I tested it as well. Now I got little flakes. I can't go out like this. How am I gonna go to work with like looking like someone who just you know wasn't raised right? Mm mm. Look. If I try rub it in, it's this moisturizer. I knew it. Let me put up my hand again, because, yeah, it's a moisturizer, you see, it's doing it on my hand, and there's nothing else on my hand. Why would you do that? Who does that to people? So this video, I don't even know if it's like a review video anymore, I feel like now it's just a clown video, so let's, let's just commit. I don't know how to make a comeback from this. Is there a comeback? What I will tell you is that I'm probably going to wash all of this off, because, nah. I'm playing, I'm playing games. Just a quick recap of what we went through. This is a no, I'm literally throwing that away, thank you. This also, someone can have this if they want it, but no. I just don't like those. This mask, the mask I guess it's fine, I'm just not into clay masks. They just kind of dry me out. For people like acne and stuff, this might work better for you. But I don't think it's going to work if you have sensitive skin because it's a lot of fragrance in there. There's a, there's a lot going on. I'll also give this to someone. And then the serum, gonna keep this. I like this, I'm gonna try it out um, for, for a while, at least give it like a month or two. But yeah, really enjoyed this. I felt like it just got absorbed and my skin was just loving it, especially after what I went through. So this is gonna go onto my shelf over here. Who's the clown? The moisturizer or me? I feel like, no, that's the clown, man. I didn't buy the sunscreen. I'm gonna keep this. I actually like it. Keep it, try it, see if I react or not. And it's affordable, guys. Compared to the 300 Rand one I was using, this 80 Rand thing is is a bop. So you can stay. Thank you. I don't have space on my shelf anymore. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's more of a fun video than anything because most of those products. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Here's some other videos for you guys to watch. My name is Cheats, coming to you with all your African skincare and beauty tips, but I'm not coming to you with this moisturizer because, because I wouldn't do that to you guys. I'm a, I'm a nice person. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a good day. Cheers. Bye.